Okay, so next up, uh, we're going to be looking at a Japanese K role called Ketoru. Um, so we did want me to, Plague wanted me to look at this um, set earlier. Katsuru is actually a really, really ridiculously good K rule player. Like he got, he was like he got like top three or top five at like a, a huge tournament recently. It was an online one, obviously, but like Japan online is amazing. Like there's like zero lag or anything, even if you're playing on Wi-Fi. Um, so rule Belmont, not a common matchup that you see either, but um, you're gonna see some sauce. That's that's all I know. And always let me know how the audio level is. So this is one matchup where you might see um, belly armor being abused a bit, but I don't think ex that's something we're going to exactly see. Um, the other thing, too, is that uh, Crown should uh, take priority over all of Belmont's projectiles. So that's something that you can take advantage of. So, like, one issue that he's having right now is, like, he can throw out the counter at least to, like, deflect off the a lot of those uh, holy waters. But we're not seeing him do that right now. Yeah, that was the optimal thing to do. Oh, wow. I would have thought, like, after Crown hit the cross, he didn't have to worry about it. A little bit late on that there. Oh man, that was a big whiff, but still got capitalized at the end. Dude, that was such good timing. Honestly, I didn't think that, like at that spacing, I didn't think he'd be able to get like a Nair out of shield before uh, safely where Belmont was. Yeah, easy confirm there, just holy water to F smash. No gimmicks today, forward throw, or not. That, what? Okay, I need to look at that again. Oh, okay, he just let go of shield. Oh wait, I was going the wrong way. Yeah, okay, yeah, he did let go of shield. But I'm surprised that wasn't a parry though. Cause that's what it should have been. Unless, wait, 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 wait. hold up. Oh, he buffered jump. Okay, that's why. Easy setup. Nair. Yeah, pretty much on like all, all like tear like um, tether recoveries. You want a nair going straight down. That was a good whip there. If he didn't whip it, that holy water wouldn't have exploded. <laughs> if that axe got countered, that I think that Belmont actually would have died. <laughs> That was like a smart use of crown just because you could use the you could you can armor the multi hits of Nair. But yeah, this part's rough. But yeah, K Roll Nair's like absurdly safe on shield, so I think like the only thing Belmont realistically has to like like beat out an option K Roll would go for after is like up B out of shield. But considering how big K Roll is, you'd probably catch him. Oh, good use of Nair there. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, honestly, like at this point, um, as rule, you can play you can play like a little bit more ignorant if you want to. Um, like, I think I got a certain point, like, he could just, like, throw out a dash attack and just beat out anything, like, a, a Belmont could realistically go for and just, like, win. And Belmont's dead. <laughs> That's kind of how it works. 
It's quiet? Okay. I'll turn it up a little bit. Wait, even Joker's what? Oh. Figly Puffs, thanks for the follow. Oof, God, that was a little rough. Oh, uh, just FYI for everybody. K um, all the Japanese players think this is best K Roll's best stage. I think it is too. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe that uh, Axe actually disappeared there. Yeah, that was a good up B out of shield by Mappe. Yeah, that's scary. I'm kind of surprised you stopped with the axe pressure there. He might be dead now. <laughs> oh, man. If, if he did not go for down air, he would have been able to still capitalize on that. A little unfortunate. Oh, man. Aw. Oh. If he buffered uh, up air, that would have killed him as well. But he got the crown pickup animation. Yeah, that's all you have to do. You just got to touch Belmont at that point, and he's gone. I don't forgot to. Oof. Yeah, I think, like, in a, some of these instances, he probably would have enough time to get, like, a counter out just to, like, deal with, like, the cross and all that. But the momentum might stop him and prevent him from getting, like, anything meaningful. Yeah, as rule in these instances, there's, there's not too much you can do. You just kind of have to take it. Oof. Yeah, I don't really like using gut check like that. I'm just surprised. Oh, yeah, the hitbox of Holy Water gets smaller. I think that's the reason why that countered, like, he didn't get hit by it. That's funny. Fourth throw? As I say, I don't know if that's going to kill Rule. Oof, yeah. There's not too much you can do in that situation. Like, I think the, big, the biggest issue that Katoro is having right now is that, like, he's not coming down with enough hitboxes. Like, I think if he was, like, coming down with Fair a lot more often, he'd just be able to, like, just flat out win most of these exchanges. Also that, too. Like, just Crown just beats out Cross so easily. Ooh, he tried to do the Belmont Classic right there. Also kind of surprised that that F tilt didn't grab the holy water. Like F tilt has a ridiculous gra like item grab reach on it. Yeah, he could. I think he could have automatically countered that to win. Ooh, that's it. I'm pretty sure he could have actually countered that axe, and then it just would have killed the Belmonts right there. You know, entire stream on thoughts on Min Min. Uh. Bimin looks solid. Uh, I'll talk about her after this set's done. Yeah, like, kind of like one thing that uh, Katoru's not really doing right now. He's like, he's not really setting up like a... He's not really setting too much of like a good advantage up. Now he's doing a much better job. But it's like, you know, I want like that crown controlling the space so that way he can't get that holy water in there prevent like stop the crosses from happening too and like once he sets that up then he's gonna be doing a lot better like this is a matchup where you can afford to like chuck crown a little bit more and yeah just be ignorant with dash attack every now and then <laughs> and the other thing too is like shielding holy water is like the best thing that you can do because then you could just like jump and grab it 
Yeah, I like that he went for a down air there, so that way he could cover the tether that way, and then you can just respond to the early up B like that. Like, that was perfect. If that Holy Water actually hit him, that would have been hilarious. But yeah, there's a way, there is a way to aim Holy Water. What is he doing? So he's telling me that there wasn't. Okay. Yeah, just throwing out a projectile at this point would have been pretty good. Because, like, that way you can at least get in and do the approach. Okay. That's it. <laughs> it's so sad because, like, after the Belmonts get hit, they it takes a while for them to grab back. And that, that's kind of... That's the way that you should play the matchup. It's just, like, get around, get that hit in, use your projectiles to cancel out his, and then... You can just like take it so much farther. Yeah, no, Nair, K roll Nair is so good in this matchup. And, like there, there's there's a lot of cheeky things that you can do too. Like you can start if you see a Nair coming towards you from Belmont, you can like start like uh, you can do start crown orang armor the hits when they land and then like crown will automatically punish it. That's really funny. Or it's like you throw out crown early and then like they hit you with like the last hits of it so it doesn't knock you out of armor. Then you jab them and then crown hits them reverse. You can combo that to an up air. It's super funny. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, overall, I, I really didn't like the way he played game two at all. Like he just let, he let the projectiles do too much on Belmont's side. And like if he came down with an attack to just like beat them out, it would have just looked a lot better. Also dealing with the, the holy water too, like shield it, jump grab, and then he'd do, he'd get a lot farther with that. Um, because most of the time, like, the Belmont was, like, ready, like, chucking another projectile at that point. So it's like, he had the time. But, yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for that one.